Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, August the 4th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and it's a bit froggy out there in spots this morning. Dense fog forming across parts of north and central Alabama this morning, thanks to uh, the uh, fairly abundant rainfall yesterday across the state. Uh, here's the geocat depiction of areas that might be seeing visibilities at least um, below five miles. Across Alabama, you see some large patches there. Northwest Alabama, yeah, check Jasper at one quarter mile. Areas from Birmingham up to Fort Payne, uh, check Fort Payne a quarter mile. Birmingham, not too bad uh, on this last report. Uh, Talladega, they're uh, in on the action this morning. Visibility's down to um, a half mile there. Sylacauga down to a quarter mile. Uh, a little bit of fog uh, in Aniston. That report from Talladega also said thunder. I'm not quite sure that was true, uh, although there are some thunderstorms uh, active uh, near the Georgia border this morning uh, around the Carrollton area. You can see temperatures across Alabama, though, hovering right there around 70 degrees. General upper air pattern up at 35,000 feet, showing a huge heat ridge centered over the southwest. That has pushed uh, a trough consistently uh, to the uh, right of it over the eastern United States. You can see that over Alabama. Our surface pressures are low and our precipitable water values are high, near two inches. And uh, this generally is a recipe for fairly abundant showers and thunderstorms. But if you were near any of them uh, yesterday, you knew about it. And if you were close by, you could hear the thunder, see the dark clouds. Uh, some pretty impressive looking cloud formations, but uh, uh, the storms quickly die out, and when they do, they make the area around them fairly stable, and that makes other storms hard to form. So you can have that storm really close by and think, oh, wow, we're going to get some rain. Uh, but uh, moving so slowly, it's hard for it to get to you, and it generally dies out pretty quickly in the low shear environment. So uh, as today rolls on, I think you'll see more showers and thunderstorms developing. The uh, low clouds and fog early this morning may hinder that development uh, a little uh, later than we uh, saw yesterday. Storms were really firing uh, well before noon. Uh, over 40 uh, significant weather alerts yesterday. Same thing today. Uh, don't expect uh, any severe weather. It's not out of the question. Uh, but um, you will see gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour in the stronger storms. Uh, heavy rain, lots of lightning, of course. And uh, there uh, nothing to mess with go indoors uh, when they're in your neighborhood. Now, as we go through time, those storms uh, this afternoon will die out tonight. Uh, as we go into Monday, it appears that the storms will be thinning out. Uh, precipitable water values begin to drop a little bit tomorrow. Uh, we begin to see uh, some sinking air from uh, uh, nearby increasing high pressure. The trough moves off uh, to the southeast of us, and things begin to uh, lighten up in the rainfall department. Not that we want it to lighten up. Uh, we need the rain. This is Monday afternoon depiction off the GFS shows rainfall amounts uh, fairly hard to come by across north and central Alabama by Tuesday. Uh, looks to me like a little slug of precipitable water moves back in here, uh, those higher values, but um, other indications indicate that we'll have only isolated storms on Tuesday, so we'll, we'll uh, kind of wait to see how that plays out. This is the depiction off the GFS buying into that idea of the higher moisture and saying there will be uh, more scattered rather than isolated. Isolated being the lesser amount, and scattered uh, being a higher coverage on Tuesday. Now by Wednesday, see more of the same coverage, uh, not very extensive. It will be hot all these days in the lower 90s by Thursday. Maybe a little increase, especially over northwestern Alabama. We'll be uh, watching out for that. And uh, by Friday, uh, another uh, bit of an increase. Those maps look awfully uh, uh, alike, don't they? High pressure builds over the Ohio Valley by Saturday in the weekend. That looks like it'll lessen our chances a bit. Voodoo territory. Let's go out to Tuesday, August 13th. Uh, slow moving front, uh, encroaching on the southeastern United States. And if the GFS is right, we'll see increasing chances of uh, rain and thunderstorms, particularly over northwest Alabama, right where they don't need uh, more rain. Hopefully that will get into central parts of the state, that bullseye around the Birmingham metro, the five-county area. Uh, we need rain. 
This is a total uh, precipitation depicted off the GFS between now and August 18th. And you can see it's fairly generous with those amounts. We need them here in the hot uh, dog days of summer. But a two and a half to four inches of uh, rain across much of the area over that two week period. Uh, looks like it is possible. We will keep our fingers crossed. That's your weather video for this Sunday, the 4th of August. James will be back tomorrow in the saddle with uh, two a days. Scott will be back next Saturday and uh, next Sunday. I'll sit here right in the same seat and give you this uh, uh, same forecast, hopefully with uh, some more chances for rain in it. And until then, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.